Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. If you're one of my lovely loyal subscribers, you will know this is not my usual setup. So please bear with me. And if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. I'll leave all the things you need to know in the description box. So go ahead. You'll find out my email address, what cards I use. It's all in there. Go ahead, guys. Check it out. Let's see what we have going on for you. Ooh, fertility. Okay, careful if you don't want to get pregnant, but this is everything you desire being attracted to you right now. Lots of good luck energy. Things will just seem to happen by magic. You'll be like, well, I, I was just thinking I wanted that. And like when, you know, you say something in front of your phone and Facebook magically makes it appear. <laughs> That's what's going to be going on with your life. The universe is listening to you right now. Like what you desire is yours. Go for it. Empress energy going on. Oops, sorry about the loud bang. Let's see. Oh yeah, another three. Great stuff. Partnership and alliance here. So even maybe working together with somebody, really paying off for you here. But this unity and coming together... Um, being able to touch each other. So somebody definitely coming into contact with you here. wonder where this is going. Um, you know, three threes. It's the Jesus number, right? If you're age 33, you can still turn your life around. He was a carpenter and at age 33 became... <laughs> one of the most famous prophets in the world, right? Spiritual union. Okay, that's what's happening here. You've got this spiritual union coming with 3-3, three, three, right? I'm probably sure there's going to be another 3 coming. So, yeah, we can just say it, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. There's a spiritual union on the way here. Maybe even a pregnancy. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, you know, be careful. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you are, I think you may have a little bundle on the way, a surprise here on the way, because you're getting this sort of energy where it just seems like, oh, I've been trying for ages, but now it's good luck. Um, we have separation here. So you could be separated from the one you consider the one, okay? Um, time apart is on the horizon for you guys. But I don't think so for much longer here with that spiritual union card. Let's see. Um, heart to heart conversation. So like I said, you're going to have this physical presence here now in your life for this spiritual union. Let's get the tarot cards and see. Sorry if I keep looking down. It's because you guys know I'm used to reading my cards and you guys being able to see the cards. So let's see here. What's going on? Two of Cups again. Two of Cups again. Your soulmates here for this spiritual union. They're being drawn to you here now. Two of Cups twice. We got those uh, 33 and 22. Um, you probably did a lot of work on your inner child or listened to your inner child in order to bring this soulmate in quicker, right? Because readings don't resonate with everybody. We need personal readings so general ones don't so for some of you maybe you've just separated um for others of you maybe you haven't even met yet and that's still time apart it still means you're in separation right um but you're drawing them to you where you're going to have this physical conversation where you'll be able to connect and touch each other here so let's see Good, I like it. I like this energy. Page of Pentacles here. It could be another earth sign, but this is like communication starting up um, very slowly at first. Um, it can often be um, somebody's blocked you, but small steps here that will turn into something big, into something beautiful that can grow. Okay, so communicate. Um, with the open heart, I feel here, there's a lot for you to learn on this journey. Um, so communicating is always wonderful. How can 
you know, somebody know what's wrong or how to fix something if you don't communicate what the problem is or, you know, things like that. Death, there's definitely transformation coming here. Um, and again, some of you could just be going through this ending and this separation. For others of you, it might be that your soulmate is a Scorpio. Um, probably a very strong love connection, Scorpio and Taurus. It's either a love or hate relationship, right? Um, but there's going to be a transformation to your um, relationship status, okay? So maybe you're in a relationship and just going to become single. Uh, maybe you're single and you're just about to meet a soulmate here, okay? It's going to be all very important. Something for you all to learn here with the separation and the coming together. Um, Six of Cups now. So somebody from your past is returning to your life here. Another strong soulmate card. So you will know who this person is. You will know or feel them at the very least there. They will have brought about your spiritual awakening with the death card. Um, sent you through a death and rebirth yourself. So you'll no longer be that same person. Knight of Swords. Now they want this conversation to happen. They're coming towards you very quickly. Maybe an Aquarius uh, for some. But all the signs will generally come out. We have strong indication of Scorpios. Um, maybe another Taurus or a Capricorn or even a Virgo there, isn't it? Um, but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius indicated with the Knight of Swords there as well. Three of Wands, what you've been waiting for will surely be worth the wait. This is your ships coming in. It's like, finally, I've waited all that time. Maybe they were showing up as a Knight of Pentacles before in your readings because they were taking a long time to come towards you or the Seven of Pentacles. Now they're show showing up as a Page of Pentacles um, in order to plant a seed, start growing something, um, start communication here. It's what you've been waiting for. It's good news on the way here regarding a soulmate. Now coming in quickly, the Knight of Swords is something moving very quickly towards you. So, yeah, that's good. The wait is over for some of you there. Um, Queen of Pentacles. So you're in higher vibrations as well. And I guess that's why I was saying, oh, there's the other three that I said, right? Um, the Three of Wands. So, yeah, we have that 333. Three. Um, I feel like you've probably learned to look after yourself, nurture your inner child here with the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe even eating better, changing your whole diet and things like that. If you haven't and you're just going through this breakup, time to do that. Change everything. Start eating clean, getting out in nature and things like that because we've all been locked down. And there's the threes, right? That's what I was saying. I'd probably another three will come out and it did. So it's three, three, three. It's all about this, um, and we said the Jesus number, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's like the Holy Trinity coming out for here, for you, and sort of backing you up. That's what I'm feeling like, everything conspiring to bring you together now with this soulmate, because you've learned stuff apart. And like I said, if you're just going through the breakup, you could be learning stuff apart. And then when it's time to come together, you'll learn and proceed together. Okay. But that with the six of cups there, somebody is returning to your life. If you've learned um, enough from this soulmate, you may choose to not continue with them, right? Because we all have free will. You may decide this partnership isn't for you. And that's why there's that separation card on your part because there'll be different sectors of people temperance so um yeah higher learning look the second chance that's wanted this is the highest card after the lovers in regards to love wanting a second chance after learning your lesson but you've got to learn not to over compromise yourself and your own beliefs there Some of you might just indicate um, it was a Sagittarius, right? No, it doesn't. It indicates a second chance judgment. Um, there's no other way around this. This is somebody from your past wanting you back. Um, they've decided, look, every, everything is conspiring here to get you this message that somebody is coming back. 
and that this person is your soulmate. Six of Cups. We have a Two of Cups. We have a Two of Cups, <laughs> right? We have this Death and Rebirth. All these cards here are telling us, look, this partnership, this coming together needs to happen here. Everything is bringing you together. Everything. I don't even know how else to explain everything because everything is just bringing you together here. It's like the angels want you to be together and that's what will happen. The star. The angels are bringing you together. It's destined to happen. Like it or not, I, I don't know how else to say it. You've gone through major healing, a major upgrade. Um, you've ascended quite a lot. Like you could just be eating leaves. <laughs> You seem to have changed so much. You've changed into a rabbit here. <laughs> um, Knight of Cups. It's a love offer that's destined to happen now. This person being destined to ask you for a second chance. So if the angels will it, so be it. 